All right, good afternoon or good early, early evening, everyone. Welcome to today's Live at Five. I'm super excited to have everyone here today for our first Live at Five of the winter. So a big warm Carlton welcome to you. Um, today's presentation is all about uh, your life at Carlton beyond the classroom. So really about finding your community beyond your lectures and your tutorials and meeting students in class. Uh, what can Carlton really look like for you um, outside of the classroom? And that's something that's really exciting to me um, because it was definitely one of the highlights of my time at Carlton. Uh, so my name is Carly. I will be your presenter this evening. Um, I graduated a couple of years ago from the Bachelor of International Business program at Carleton, and I was also pretty involved on campus. So I was involved in intramural sports, um, in clubs and societies, and hopefully I can tell you a little bit about that today. Um, before we dive right in, I do want to take a second to just acknowledge that Carleton University is located on the traditional and unceded territories of the Algonquin Nation. And for those of you who don't know, we're located in the beautiful city of Ottawa, the capital city, but it's also really important to put the Algonquin Nation at the forefront um, when we're talking about where we're located. And one of the really awesome ways that we do that is through our community liaison. Uh, his name is Macho, and he actually meets with the Algonquin people uh, in the Algonquin Nation to talk about how the school can support the community and how the community can support the school. So it's a really uh, awesome way that we can work towards reconciliation here on Carleton's campus. So lots of exciting stuff going on at Carleton. If you're an Ontario high school student, hopefully you've got your application in um, as the deadline has passed. Um, if you're an international student you're, or, for, or if you're from out of province, you're working to get those applications in. But there's a lot of really amazing stuff going on um, throughout the next couple months that I wanna draw your attention to before we dive in. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the Talking Raven podcast. This is a really awesome podcast hosted by my friend Stanley Philippe, awesome coworker, and he gets to talk with people from all around Carleton's campus and our community about all of the things that make Carleton really, you know, unique and special and welcoming to our students, you know, prospective students, you folks, and also our current student and staff that are part of our Carleton family. So check out the Talking Raven podcast anywhere that you listen to your podcasts um, to get a real kind of inside scoop on things that are going on here on our campus. We also encourage you to obviously take a campus tour if you can. We offer really amazing virtual campus tours. So this is awesome if you live far away or if you're not super comfortable coming on, coming on campus just yet. You can have a guided virtual tour um, hosted by one of our amazing tour guides. So these are current students that virtually take you around campus um, or starting next week, February 7th, we will be firing up in-person campus tours again, as long as uh, public health guidelines allow us to do so. So definitely sign up for a campus tour if you haven't already come to our beautiful campus. Uh, the last thing that I want to draw your attention to is our future Raven coffee break. So you see Caitlin here with a cup of coffee. If coffee's not your thing, tea's okay, hot chocolate, whatever. Um, you can talk one on one with myself or one of my amazing colleagues, um, a lot of whom are with us here today, um, to really talk about anything and everything that's on your mind about Carleton. Um, whether you have questions about your application, about your program, maybe about what your life looks like beyond the classroom, um, you can sign up for one of our future Ravens coffee breaks by filling out the form that one of my colleagues will pop in the uh, chat. Uh, which reminds me, I do want to draw your attention to the live event Q&A. This will be happening throughout the uh, session this evening. I have my amazing colleagues in the background here um, supporting you, supporting me, um, and are here to answer your questions. Uh, we have folks from our recruitment office, from admissions, and also from international recruitment and admissions. So if you are an international student and you do have questions, please don't hesitate to use the live event Q&A, which you should find at the top of your screen. Now you guys are here for the Live at Five and Live at Fives are really, really exciting. Um, Live at Fives happen every Wednesday um, at 5 p.m. And every Wednesday at 5 p.m. we're gonna talk about a different topic um, relating to you becoming a Raven. So today's all about life beyond the classroom. We're gonna talk a little bit about athletics, clubs and societies. 
Uh, next Wednesday, we're going to talk about I've applied now what? So maybe you've put in your application and you're kind of like, OK, Carly, like where do I go from here? You'll definitely want to come next Wednesday when we talk about next steps and what you can expect between now and really when you become a Raven on campus. Um, the following Wednesday, we're going to be talking about making the most out of your Carleton degree. So talking about skills, your career, your future, and what that looks like in terms of how we can support you get to where you want to be um, as a Carleton student and then as a Carleton alumni. Uh, the following Wednesday, Wednesday, February 23rd, we're going to talk all about funding your education. Um, funding your education is a really awesome topic that that live at five happens right before the prestige scholarship deadline. So any questions or concerns that you have about funding your education, um, you'll definitely want to check that one out on February 23rd. And I'll get one of my colleagues to post the schedule in the chat as well. We have a really awesome website where you can go to register and get more information about all these sessions. Uh, the following Wednesday, we have a session on the Carleton community. So if you want to learn more a little bit about the welcoming community that we have, um, equity, diversity and inclusion on campus, um, indigenous initiatives that are going on, why Carleton is one of the most accessible campuses in North America, you're not going to want to miss our Carleton community session on March 2nd. Um, the next one is my uh, one that I'm probably most excited about, and that's the Carleton Top 10. So Top 10 at Carleton. We're going to take a deep dive into the Top 10 restaurants in Ottawa, places to study on campus, places to grab a coffee, um, things to do outdoors in the winter in Ottawa. So really, really exciting for that one, and that one's happening March 9th. We have a full roster of, of Live of Fives coming, so definitely check out the schedule that my colleagues are going to post in the chat. But today we are here to talk about life beyond the classroom, um, and that really looks different for a lot of people. For a lot of people, why you're choosing a university is your academic program. And then the second thing that you're going to be considering is, you know, do I feel comfortable? Does this place make me feel like home? Can I get involved um, And a place where you can really grow outside of the classroom? So the first thing that we're going to look at is our Ravens athletics and some different ways that you can get involved in athletics here at Carleton. So as you can see on the screen, there's kind of three different ways that you can participate in athletics at Carleton. The first call in there are our varsity sports. So we are very um, proud of our varsity athletes. We have some amazing varsity teams, both men's and women's, that you can see there on the screen. And those are competitive um, varsity athletics where they play against other universities at the university level. In the next column, you can see our competitive clubs, which are much like varsity sports. Um, you still play against other universities, but it's not at that top university level. So something to consider, you're still a Raven, you're still on a competitive team, and you're still playing against other universities. So lots of really amazing ways to get involved there. The last column is my personal favorite, and that is intramurals. So intramurals are really, really fun. It's an awesome way to get to know people, um, and that's where you're playing on campus. So intramural means that you're playing against other students, um, and it's pretty recreational level. So there's different levels within inter intramurals, but it's a really fun way to just stay fit, stay active, um, have something fun to do with your uh, roommates or classmates. Um, on a weeknight, that kind of thing. Um, and it was definitely one of the highlights of my university um, career, but also something that I was most nervous about. And I want to tell you a little story about that. So um, coming from high school, I was really into sports. I was really athletic. I played, you know, pretty high level sports in high school. Um, and I knew I wanted to do the same at Carleton, but I'm from Niagara, from St. Catharines, if anyone's from St. Catharines. Um, so I didn't know a lot of people going to Carleton. It wasn't a big, you know, feeder school. My high school wasn't a big feeder school to Carleton. So I only knew a couple people. So when you get to Carleton in that first kind of couple of weeks, you're feeling out the different things that you want to do. And I knew that intramurals was something that I wanted to try out, specifically volleyball. But there's kind of two ways to do it. You can either sign up as a team if you have a, a group of friends from your program or from residents or whatever, or you can sign up as an individual if you don't know that many people. And that was a bit scary to me, but I thought, OK, Cara, I'm going to push myself. And I signed up as an individual to play volleyball in the fall semester. 
So I signed up. I didn't know anyone on my team. I got there the first night. Um, they all knew each other. So they all uh, were actually a group of engineers, which is amazing because that's a group of people that I never would have met if I didn't play intramural volleyball uh, that semester. Um, we hit it off. We were really, really good. We won a ton of games. And what was really awesome is that we ended up playing together for all of our next semesters um, throughout all four years of my undergraduate degree. So again, a group of people that I never would have met. Um, and then a different group of friends that I got to have right at Carleton. Um, that was a really special time time for me um, throughout my years uh, as a Raven. So intramural is a really fun way again to stay active and also to meet people that you might not meet um, in your classes or in your residence. So a couple of really fun stats that I want to share with you about uh, our Ravens athletics. We have 16 U sport titles. Um, so those are university national wide titles, 16 of them. We have 56 OUA titles, so that's provincial titles, and we have 16,000 student athletes that attended Carleton. So we have a really, really strong athletics community, whether you just want to stay fit or you want to play at the highest level possible. Um, and kind of a fun shout out, one of those athletes named Jay Dearborn is actually representing Canada in Beijing um, this week, starting on Friday. Um, on the bobsled team. So you can catch Jay um, in the four men bobsled competition on February 18th and 19th at 8.30 p.m. to cheer on a fellow Raven, which is pretty cool um, if you ask me. Uh, next, I just want to highlight a couple of um, really cool facilities that we have at Carleton in our athletics. So uh, on the far left, you can see um, our big basketball um, gym. Um, we have our field house in the next picture there um, where people can play intramurals. There's a track around the outside. It's a really awesome big space uh, indoors. We have two NHL sized skating rinks. Um, so whether you're you know, learning to skate, you wanna hop on a free skate, um, or you're trying out for the hockey team, uh, really, really beautiful facilities there. We have um, both a varsity gym and a state-of-the-art newly renovated fitness center um, if you just wanna stay active uh, in, in our athletics facilities. And lastly, we have an Olympic length swimming pool. So free swims, this is available to all students um, and there's lots of fun things that you can do um, like watching movies in the pool um, and joining us for a free swim. So lots of really amazing stuff uh, going on in athletics and you can always book a tour um, again on our website or virtually at virtualtour.carleton.ca. So switching gears a little bit, I want to talk a little bit about our clubs and societies. And this is another really cool way to get involved at Carleton. Um, we actually have over 300 clubs and societies for you to choose from. So I just chose a couple on here um, to highlight some of the really cool ways that you can get involved. But whether it's arts, uh, leisure, sports, academic, cultural, um, really whatever interests you, you can really discover a community within our clubs and societies. So some kind of cool ones that I wanted to highlight. We have um, our book ravens, we have a climbing club, photography club, uh, we have a Quidditch team. So if you're as into Harry Potter as I am, uh, you can join the Quidditch team. We even have something called a club sandwich club, which is people that are just really passionate about lunch meat. So, um, so yeah, there's lots of different ways to get involved and meet people who have similar interests as you. Um, one thing that's really neat about our clubs and societies at Carleton is that if you don't find a club that you are passionate about or that you want to get involved in, you can actually find a couple of friends that have a similar interest and make a club. So you can be the, the founder, um, the CEO of your very own club and society. Now you're probably thinking over 300 clubs and societies, that's a lot. How am I going to find the one that I'm actually interested in? And how are you going to find kind of your home away from home on campus and like your people? Um, and that's a super good question. It's definitely something that I was worried about when I was a student coming in uh, to Carleton in my first year. Um, and we have an answer to that and it's called the CU Expo. Um, this is honestly probably my favorite thing that happens during our orientation week. So your first week when you're at Carleton. And basically what it is in a normal year um, when we're all in person is that 
Uh, remember that field house that I showed you? So basically all of the clubs and societies set up tables in the field house and you kind of basically get to shop around for things that you're interested in. So you walk up and down the aisles, you talk to people from the different clubs, and again, you're going to find clubs that you didn't even know existed. Um, you get to sign up, gather some more information, take some free swag. And it's a really, really cool way and like an eye opening way to see really how much is going on at Carlton and all of the different ways that you can get involved. So that was the way that I found um, the club that I really got involved in when I was at Carleton, um, and that's the Sprott Business Student Society. So um, I was uh, just a, a member of the society when I was in first year, and then I was actually able to take on different positions within the society and put on different events for my fellow Carleton uh, peers and students throughout the year. So lots of really neat ways to get involved. Um, so finding your home away from home is going to be really important because that's where you're going to be able to build your community um, outside of the classroom. Now I know that that was a lot of information. Um, hopefully you are as excited as I am about you know, coming to Carlton and really finding the things that you are passionate about. Um, if you haven't asked your questions in the chat, we're going to hang around for a little bit. So ask your questions. Um, we'll be here um, and make sure that all of your questions are answered before you head out today. A couple things that I want to leave you with, um, some really important messages um, on this slide here. So our admissions website, admissions.carlton.ca. That's going to be your first stop for any questions that you might have. Um, we have a really awesome website that takes you through all of the different programs, requirements, different events that are coming up. So you'll want to check out admissions.carlton.ca. Next on the screen, you'll see 360.carlton.ca. And if you're not familiar with 360, I would definitely suggest that you check that one out. Um, that's your own personal Carlton hub. So if you've applied to Carlton, then hopefully you've been on Carlton 360 because that's where you're gonna continue to check the status of your application and also where you're going to see your offer of admission when it does come in. And it's also where you're gonna be able to register for the next upcoming Live at Fives and different events that we have coming up um, over the next couple of months. So definitely 360.carlton.ca um, is your own personal hub and a really great way to find uh, some information that's catered right to you. We also have uh, a really awesome presence on social. So you can see on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, we're at Carlton underscore future. We just posted a TikTok um, before today's live at five. Um, so if you're watching this and you have TikTok, if you go on that TikTok um, at Carlson underscore future and go to our newest video um, and put a thumbs up emoji, um, maybe you'll have the, the opportunity to uh, win some Carlton swag. So head to, head to TikTok at Carlson underscore future, comment with a thumbs up um, and we'll look out to give you some Carlton swag. And of course, we're Carlton future on Facebook. So thank you so much again. Um, hopefully you can feel my excitement through the screen. We are so well um, excited to welcome you to Carleton next year. Um, and don't forget to join us next Wednesday at 5 p.m. for our I've applied now what session where hopefully we'll be able to give you some next steps um, and different different things to check off your checklist um, as we count down the days to welcome you uh, to the Carleton campus. So thanks again. I'm going to take myself off screen now. But again, we'll hang out in the in the Q&A um, to answer any questions that you have for the next uh, five to 10 minutes. So enjoy the rest of your evening um, and let's keep this conversation going. Have a good night.